Hello and welcome back. This time I'm going to be running with the Ice Staff here, uh, Legendary Ice Staff. Uh, I actually haven't used Ice Staff since I was like level 10. Um, so hundreds of hours ago, uh, I kind of just wrote it off thinking, oh, this is too overpowered. I just don't even want to bother with it. Um, so I only had this unique staff. I just created the legendary one. So yeah, there's that. And then I got these two daggers just in case if I need them. Um, they're really cool though. They're both ice and poison um, and they're rare. So they look cooler than the legendaries in my opinion. Um, but yeah, ice and poison, pretty cool stuff. And then yeah, here is the ice staff. Looks pretty spicy. And yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do. Uh, it is basically an overpowered weapon unless you come across a boss. Um, in that case, you cannot freeze bosses, so it doesn't really help you. However, it does damage them a little bit, so yeah, there's that. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this hard on myself to the underworld uh, as long as there's a good map. Um, oh my gosh, either teeny tiny or huge. All right, well, I'll do the huge one. I'll probably skip a couple rooms because I don't, I don't think I have time to go through the whole entire uh, thing. But I also, I didn't get any potions or anything because I think I'm good. Uh, I think Ice Staff should be able to support me enough. Um, and yeah, I just, I won't need the additional help of the potions. Be able to find stuff as I'm on my way and looking at the darkness. All right, so yeah, we start with a key here. That's awesome over there. I don't think there's a key, but I'm gonna check. There's nothing. Um, might as well get that gold. All right, this is one of the most beautiful rooms in the game, in my opinion. Um, and I'm gonna, whoop, I'm gonna do this thing where I just, oh, um, I hold it upside down, as I do with most staffs, especially when I'm just doing a pure staff run. But, oh, wow, that spider's gonna be a pain in the butt. Gotta kill this guy fast. Yep, there we go. All good. And kill that guy. And you know what? I just said that I am... Oh my, what is happening? Okay, so I'm gonna try two-handing this weapon because I think I've seen that it does more knockback in the training room. Oh gosh, gotta kill this guy fast. Die, spider. Oh, okay, we're good. So... Yeah, um, two hand, I think, does in the training room. I was seeing that it did more knockback. Um, plus, I feel like I have a little bit more control over it. Oh, okay. But sometimes the staff just like goes away from me. I'm also using the critical exo perk, so I do more melee damage. Uh, Forty percent chance to do two hundred percent. So that's always nice. Um, I think I just, that's kind of my default perk at the moment. Ooh, this guy, nice. Wow, I totally missed him. Come on, die man. Whoa, ow. Gotta kill this guy real quick. I stab him, die man. Oh, okay, stabbing him kind of worked. Oh, also, I'm, I'm fighting his minions like a dummy. Um, He'll spawn, if I give him enough time, basically, he will spawn, oh, this is tough. He'll spawn um, these guys, basically. Uh, I'm gonna give myself some more room. My boundary was getting close there. And he always spawns behind you, so you gotta watch out for that. And this this uh, elite right here is being kind of annoying. And it's gonna take a while to kill the, well, Actually, I'm surprised it's taking as long as it is to kill this guy. Maybe it's because I keep hitting him in the legs, and that doesn't do much damage. Uh, maybe the, the exo perk. Oh, gosh, no, what? What just froze me? That's crazy. Should be good. Whew. 21 health. You yeah, know, I gotta be really careful here. I'm gonna actually use the ice staff to kind of save myself here. Okay. Oh, it was the spider. I still have 25, man. Okay, cool thing about the spider, the uh, ice spider, is he doesn't jump, um, as far as I'm aware. Okay, cool, we're good here. Ooh, that is not quite as good as I would hope. Okay, come on. Ooh, no, 
Oh my gosh. This is tough, tough. Okay. Whew. It just so happened that this was the first room. If I got hit by that guy one more time, I would have had to either save one of these guys to kill them. Um, luckily, there's a potion over here too. Um, but I could have saved one of those guys to kill them when I was in my last stand. Or if I didn't do that, I might have just been done for. I'm dead. Um, also, I don't think breaking vases actually uses up the crystal. Uh, so that's a nice little thing to know. Okay, you get a key in this room. And then the next room over here, you get a chest, which I'm going to open here. And, oh, wow. That guy was a frozen dude. This is, um, <laughs> so you see that I can't, I can't freeze the frozen guys. So that's another little downside of the uh, frozen. Let me just kill this guy real quick. The uh, ice staff. But as you can see, the ice staff just hit them once with the beam and then once with either the staff or melee weapon or whatever you choose. And the thing dies so it's, it's pretty this is also a really cool room this this dungeon's pretty pretty interesting so far oh wow cool and nice thing about the ice guys is they generally die in one hit uh ooh, that guy did not oh my gosh okay well i respawn it is totally fine so i'm gonna jump around these guys because they're scary spooky I just hit over one of the guys to hit the other. Okay, yeah, I just used up my gems, so I do a little toss. All right, um, where do we go? This is tier two chest up there, so I'm gonna head to that because we got two keys. But yeah, the fact that I died, that was totally on me being bad and, uh, or just in a tough situation, but, oh, that's something that I hate. Oh my gosh, the fact, okay, so <laughs> what just happened there, by the way? So it was, I opened the chest, and because I opened the chest and walked away from the chest, my inventory popped up, that's the wrong way, by the way, uh, my inventory popped up so that uh, I ended up grabbing, instead of the chain, I grabbed the potion, and then I fell to my death. That is one of the most annoying things, <laughs> in my opinion, especially when you're like kind of speed running dungeons or you kind of just want to get through it. It's, oh my goodness, um, it's very inconvenient when you have to do exactly, oh, my, oh, ah, die. Okay, I was just like wiggling my hands there. I think I'm going to try to save, haha, <laughs> he died instantly. Oh. See how it always gets stuck? I'm gonna try to save the key, not the key, the gems um, for elites, for the purple guys, because they are gonna be tough to kill with the staff. Whereas if I can just hit them with a crystal, with a, a ice beam and then tap them, they are instantly dead. So I don't have to worry about them. So I'm gonna do that. Um, all right, cool. We got the key here. We got the map here as well. So that's kind of nice. Is oh, I can't get hit by that guy over okay, here. Frozen. Oh, almost got him. There we go. Uh, 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 here we go. Get this guy real quick. Do a staff battle. I'm better. <laughs> Even though he poked me, that kind of hurt. Mean. Ooh, another one. Ha. Yeah. Oh. My goodness. I gotta kill this guy, and then I'll kill the spider. Okay. All good there. I do wish I could just automatically pick up... Ooh. Automatically pick up my staff this way, so I don't have to worry about that all the time, uh, about the staff being short. Also, where am I going? I guess I have the map now, so I can look at that. That is nice. Okay. Oh, so I just want the total opposite way that I needed to go is what happened there. So I'm going to drink a haste potion real quick. I don't have too much time. I think I'm like on a 30 minute limit here. 
uh, uh, okay, here we go. And I got to get that at some point. Uh, 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 here we go. There's always that lever right there. There's also always a key in this corridor, this hallway here. Oh, and I dropped my torch. So there's a key right there. Always on that shelf. The shelf is a little glitchy, but that's the thing. Um, nothing in there. I don't know why I'm even looking, because I know once you find the, the place with the chest, that's it. Um, all right, what do we have here? And I guess it is <laughs> weird to two-hand. Eh, so maybe it makes sense that um, if two-handing, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy real quick. Ugh. Okay, so if two-handing really is better with the staffs, then it makes sense that you hold it this way instead of the opposite way. Yeah, because that killed him in one hit. Um, I don't think that would usually happen. That was one, two, three, because that was, that was probably my critical perk that killed him. Um, however, I don't know. It does seem like it might do more. Maybe at some point I'll do a run without the critical perk so I can kind of see a little bit better. And the, the RNG of the perk isn't interfering. Okay. Oof. Come on. Ching. Oh, that was kind of clean. Got a key. What else? Oh, I just picked up my knife by accident. Nice. I think that was also the perk, but who knows? The critical. Okay, so now I am not even going to go into that other room over there, which I think is over there. Uh, did I see that right? Yeah, there was a room over there and over there, but I'm going to skip it on my time restraint. <laughs> Sorry for all those completionists that would have want wanted to go back over there. Part of the reason I do solo is so I don't have to, uh, not to say deal with those people, but um, I don't have to, they don't have to deal with me is, is more accurate. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just holding this key because I do want to use it at some point. Um, I probably <laughs> could have gone back into those things and used it. Oh, that was, that's my knife. Okay. Um, oh, cool. Hi, spider. Ow, man, they do a lot. I, I mean, that, that wasn't actually a ton of damage, but whatever. I would have wanted to fall on this guy, but I've tried to fall in this, and it's kind of weird. Okay, 71. Oh, ice. Spooky. Ooh. Come on. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and if you hit those guys in the horns, they do not die. Uh, they can take two hits in the horns, and then if you hit them in the head that third time, that's when they die. So generally just try to hit their body. I'm not great at doing that yet. I kind of just forget a lot of the time. Okay. Man, I keep picking up my knife. I should have just made it so I had one knife. It didn't bother me. Yeah, see, I still went for his head that first blow just because I'm used to it. Oh, nice. Okay, so that was like five hits. I don't know if any of those were critical hits. Um, oh my gosh, I'm just missing everything. Wow, my hands. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I opened this. I guess because I just had a ton of keys, but then that was just a key key room where you uh, you open it just to get a key. <laughs> okay, and I think this is the end. I think I just have excess amount of keys that are going to go to waste because I didn't go to those other rooms. I am so sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot he could do that. Come down here, guy. Come on. There we go. Okay. See if I can melee this guy. <laughs> but as you can see, it doesn't do anything to the boss. All it does is stun him, um, which which could be nice if you're having trouble getting through. And what am I doing? I'm just getting so close to him. I got to bait out a swing and then attack. There we go. And he's not an elite, so it's a little easier to do the bait bait and hit um okay and the overhead swing generally is the best to get their heads oh boy it's 50 okay yeah so i think with this guy doing that uh yeah that that move i think that summons summons the guys so i'm gonna kill this guy real quick um come on. okay nice so that i think was a critical hit i think that's why he died so easily oh this guy, not sure how I'm going to deal with him, um, but I'm going to try, ooh, I'm going to try to, whoa, use the stage to my advantage. Maybe, <laughs> oh my gosh, no, this guy tracks me down. Uh, can I freeze him? I don't think I can. Oh, I don't even have gems, so I can't even try, but yeah, no, I don't think I can freeze any bosses, so not really worth trying, but who knows, maybe I'll, 
Maybe someday. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, got him. Um, let's see if I can like glitch him out and kill him. Cause when he gets close, he's gonna start devouring me. Maybe if I hold it two hands, then I will be able to push him away. Oh no, okay. I'm still gonna try, I'm still gonna try. Cause being devoured just does not change anything. I could be devoured a hundred times and it wouldn't change anything. Can you get down here, guy? No, okay. He's not doing it, he's not. Oh, he's coming down now. Oh, I got him, okay. Yeah, so I probably could have done that without dying, um, but I was I was a little careless, and instead of hitting and running away, I hit and then just kept running forward. So, oh well. But there you can see. I'll get rid of all my keys. Oh, I don't need them. I don't need them. Okay. Um. There there was really no reason for me getting rid of those keys. By the way, that was just me having fun. Um and because I'm not going to be here, and the keys don't transfer to your next dungeon, it doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, the ice staff is pretty darn good, especially when you're just killing general enemies, uh, but then, yeah, you get to those boss, boss fights, and you're going to wish you had teammates if you aren't playing multiplayer, and you are only running the ice staff uh, with two swords. Luckily, I had daggers. If I really was in a precarious position, and I had to do something special, then I could have just come out and grab my daggers and thrown them I would have been totally fine these are also poison and I mean that that doesn't really do much to bosses but they they could have helped is what I'm saying and if I had a sword it couldn't have really helped um but yeah so there it's good that there's a limit to the ice staff of how good it is because it used to just be the strongest because you could freeze bosses and just instantly demolish them um but now it's a little harder because you can't do that. So the the slowing staff, the chrono staff, is probably a little bit better than this one. Um, I would say at least. But it's this is still really strong if you want to just get easy kills and breeze through a dungeon until the boss fights. You can use this. Um, plus, you don't really have to aim because you can kind of just like do this. Uh, you can you can hold it down. It doesn't waste the ability. It doesn't waste the gem until it actually freezes something. Um, so you're... <laughs> You're not gonna mess with this so yeah unlike the fireball staff but that is about it um i will hop on off now hope you enjoyed the video and peace out